Hello friends, welcome back to my studio. Hope you're well. We've had that lovely quote from George O'Keefe to open this week's vlog. And I've had it there because George's work has become quite present in my life at the moment. A lot of it's coming up on my feed and so I've been revisiting her work. I've realized my new colors that I've been playing with recently are so similar to a lot of her landscapes or mountain paintings that she did. And I find that really interesting that as I'm looking at these colors, things are coming in that kind of serendipity of things of those her work and those colours are coming in. It's really enforcing wanting to paint with those. So from my colour palette, I have picked out these colours here, colours that are close to her colour palette. What I really appreciate about George's work, oh, that's little maxi cat in the background there. She's joining us in the studio today. <laughs> Um, yes, what I really appreciate and adore about George's work is her ability to present subtlety and softness along with strength and energy. And it's something that I am really striving for in my work. And I think she gets that just from her pure nature of who she was. She used to go out and camp really roughing it to be able to be closer to the landscape and uh, create paintings and there are a lot of mountain paintings and it's what she referred to as my mountain because her house perfectly framed this mountain in the distance from her her one of her ranch homes she has a lovely quote when she was asked why does she paint that mountain so often and she said it's my private mountain god told me if i painted enough i could have it and that's just so so beautiful it speaks of her connection to the landscape particularly those areas that she lived in and of course what was engaging was different times of the day and different seasons there were so many colors and there's another quote of hers all of the colors of the painter's palette are out there in the badlands and i think the other thing that she was able to accomplish was giving a sense of place as well and it reminded me of another quote i heard recently about paint the verb not the noun and that's so so true and this piece that i created last week just as a rolling the roller off to clean it. I think this has, why I appreciate it is has these sort of qualities of strength and subtlety and energy. It's really suggestive of a landscape, but it's kind of speaking landscape rather than just a representation. So with all of that in mind, I have a lovely blank canvas here and I'm going to limit my palette to a certain degree of Georgia O'Keeffe inspired colors and try and create a landscape that is a verb <laughs> that has subtlety and energy and softness and strength. Let's see how I go. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoy watching this painting begin in this glorious colour palette.
So there's a great first start on this painting with a very radical change to the composition there at the end. I hope you can see why I did that and how much better that is sitting with that. And uh, yeah, you just gotta be brave and get in there and, and change it. You can paint it back, you've done it before. If it's a wrong decision, you can put it back in. Taking that risk, it was really worth it. I was heading towards that kind of bullseye composition <laughs> that somehow tends to happen quite easily with me. I guess too when I came to this without any clear plan except for the colour palette. It's quite lively. I love the colours and I'm stopping now because I'm not quite sure now what to do. I've got a lot of the canvas well all of the canvas colored at least faintly and a lot of areas have now got two or three layers over so i just want to pull back let it really dry because even though i do dry off areas with the hair dryer the nature of the way acrylic paint dries it tends to just get a skin and if you press on that it can still smudge as you might, might have picked up, I did pick up a bit of colour in the brush in a couple of areas. So yeah, that needs to really dry. I know acrylics dry really quickly, but I mean, it's a cooler day today, so it's taking a little bit longer and I just want them to be really solidly dry before I come into the next layer. How exciting. <laughs> I hope you found that really enjoyable and inspires you to get your paintbrushes out and get going. I certainly use a good <laughs> good amount of them today. I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye.